Hi, this is Suzanne in Ohio. I have a project share for you today. I have an order I'm filling from my Etsy store and I wanted to be sure and get some scanned images before it went off in the mail. So I wanted to show you what I do with those images. And I'm always encouraging everybody use your art in more than one way. So this is how I'm going to use my fabric art images. And I came up with something that I thought was pretty clever. So first of all, here's the fabric art that's leaving today and going um, out in the mail. This was a little bag I made. I made several. And there's still some on my Etsy site. It's a nice little bag. Um, it has a fabric flower, which I need to press that right there a little bit. But this is all raw edge applique. And all the background is free motion stippled quilting, I guess you call it. They all close with a magnetic um, snap. And they're all lined. Some of them have pockets, some of them don't. But this is the perfect size little pouch for like a traveler's notebook or even something slightly larger plus all your pins and little snippets of paper and stuff you might want but this is going out in the mail and I wanted to be sure and copy this image I had copied it before I made it into a purse or a bag but it looks so much better with the quilting in the background so I'll show you what I did with that first of all I laid it on my scanner and made what I called a clean image just nothing to it. I moved the flower out of the way. I piled some heavy books on top of it and I got some beautiful images. And then I thought now I can use that image for anything. I can make journal pockets, cards, tags, um, just anything you can think of. You know what all's going on out there in the world of paper arts. And I tend to like words on my Things. So I thought, well, I can print nice big images or let's say postcard size, and then I can uh, paste my own little word plackets right on top of it. That would be easy enough. But then I thought, well, why don't I do it while I'm scanning it? So here's what I did. Got into this yesterday. You know how it is. So I made a pile of word plackets and I put double-sided tape on them and laid them on the item before I scanned it with my double-sided tape. Now this is scrapbook removable tape and it's still on there and I can use it over and over again and then I just put a piece of freezer paper the shiny side uh, to hold that sticky you know keep that from sticking to each other so here's a few of these word plackets I made and of course the ideas are just going on and on and on uh, but this is all I got done yesterday you could even make not just simple word plackets but you could make clusters and lay them down and scan them on there too so I think let's start out with this one because this is the bag that I used this on and it was a wonderful time. Now what a nice little, oh I don't know, lead in to say that this is a journal bag. So I also had another one, let me find it here if I can. I'm going to show you all these but not all at once. I had one that said beautiful rewards. So let me show you. I'll bet you're out there screaming. Oh, I see it. I see it. But I don't. Perhaps it's still over my desk and I'm not going to get up. But I did use that one on one. Now let me show you what my print came out at like. So here's my print. Let me turn the autofocus on so it'll get get this up close. Here's my print that I got. Come on. 
I'm telling you, if these aren't the finickiest cameras, they have to read the environment before. Now I just used this a minute ago and everything worked fine. There it goes. Oh my God, it's so temperamental. Okay, so um, beautiful rewards. That's what it scanned as when I just simply put the word placket down on top of uh, the fabric. Of course, it's just on there with a small piece of double-sided tape. So you could have a piece of artwork and make several different word placards and switch them out. So let's go back here and I'll show you some of these word placards that... Okay. Aren't they funny? If somebody knows the trick to this, let me know. I know the camera has to read the amount of light and sometimes it's just looking for a way to get focused. Put that back on. Okay, so here's my word placards that I made. I just did what I could think of real quick and the things that I already had printed out. Here's a little snippet or a famous quote from Schiller. Oh, I don't know how that got in there. Okay, so uh, be mindful, be present. Let's bring you down a little closer so you can kind of see these better. Don't forget the fairies. And, of course, I used a little piece of embossing here and here. And then um, be lazy sometimes, rest often. Thoughts are magnetic. Uh, be brave. And a quote from Emerson. Love Emerson and throw. And then this will go on something pertaining to gardening. So be it. And then I thought, well, these are pretty simple. I can get a little bit more creative than that. So I switched gears. And here's what I did. This is a a famous quote from Goethe, but I thought, I don't want anything too heavy looking. I don't want, so what did I use? I had a piece of uh, sheet music I printed off on tracing paper, and this is a vintage uh, document, a, oh, a vintage will, actually. My sister does genealogy, and she finds a lot of these handwritten uh, images course they're in public domain they're so old but I printed it off and I printed it on regular copy paper but as you can see it's kind of translucent that's a technique I came up with sort of by accident by waxing the paper and it turns it into a semi-transparent if I lay it up here you can see well see I've got this piece of paper on here let me take that off you can see that you can still see a little bit through it, which is quite nice. Okay, so uh, this one, let me show you the item that I laid it on. All right, so here's another purse bag. I shouldn't say purse. Uh, who in the world does that? All right, here's another bag that's on my Etsy site. And I wanted an image of it. I thought, oh, well, as long as I'm doing this, I better get these all done. And I don't want to have to stop at the last minute and before I mail another one and do all this. So I created this quote and put it off to the side. And when it scanned, let me show you how it scanned. So it scanned right here. Very, very nice. There it goes, finally. Okay, so the translucent and uh, transparent look of the tracing paper and everything, it just gave it such a different dimension. Of course, you can see I inked around the edges and stuff. So that's one idea. And then I came up with this plaque. I don't remember what I used it on, but again, it's a piece of tracing paper and just book page and, and that, but it's interchangeable. 
and I can superimpose it on the top of any piece of artwork and scan it, and then I, in essence, have a new piece of artwork. So some of these scanned images with the plackets already on them are going to be on my Etsy site as digital downloads. They should be on there by the end of, this is May 2018 don't know when you'll be viewing this video so I go ahead and save the date by the end of May 2018 all right so um, let me get another one I'll show you how that worked out all right here's another bag and then because this one was offset with uh, negative space over here I made this one that fits kind of in this corner and I superimposed it and then copied it so let me show you that one there it is right there beautiful image and in person the colors are stunning bright clear 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 just really a lot of fun so those are the ideas I had for today how many of you can't sleep for thinking of ideas? I'm telling you. Who can get this stuff out of their head once they get on a roll? So I'm going to put a link to my Etsy site below. There are lots of things I use in my fabric arts and paper arts on my Etsy site that you can uh, either purchase or do a digital download to create things of your own and if you just want to go there and look at pictures for ideas please do all right thanks again to all the youtubers who so freely share all their talents and ideas and i want to do the same so thanks for watching